Mia karakia tato, e hia te whenua, e hia te rangi. Kia uru mai, he ho kaha, he ho maia, ki rongo, ki raro, ki waho, ki roto. Rire, rire ho, pai marie. Harness the energy of the land, harness the energy of the sky. Bring in the strong winds, the bold winds. From above and below, from inside and out, the exceptional winds be at peace. Tēnā koutou katoa. Welcome to Celebrating Business 2021, the friendly faces of fielding in the Manawatu District. I'm Wendy Carr, the General Manager of Fielding and District Promotion. We are really excited to be bringing this event to you in a slightly different format. COVID-19 has thrown a spanner in the works this year, but we have pivoted to ensure we can still celebrate and acknowledge our diverse business community. This year we have changed the format so we could highlight and celebrate the contribution, innovation, sustainability and recognition of our local businesses. We gathered together four community leaders to review and select the businesses. Please welcome Rex Wheeler, who will be presenting Community Contribution. Kia ora koutou. I'm Rex Wheeler, retired principal of Manchester Street School and a 54-year veteran of St John Ambulance working both nationally and locally. It's my pleasure to be able to announce for celebration the four business winners, micro, small, medium, large and non-profit under the category Community Contributors, a local business who has significantly supported and contributed to the community by way of sponsorship, internships, mentoring over the past 12 months. Fielding is really lucky to be able to celebrate such a number of businesses who fall into this category, contributing to our community. Not only have the 24 nominated businesses had a local profile, but in many instances, they have a far wider influence. All nominees understood the value and the importance of community and are working in their own way to strengthen and support positive community lifestyles for our residents. Heartiest congratulations and celebrations go to, in the micro category, Firmly Fit, a small business hitting big in health and well-being for the community members, supporting local schools and working with the council to be able to make long-term positive impacts within our community and to the environment. Small to medium category, Appity Tavern. Huge supporters, not only of their local community, but also supporting further afield, such as the COVID lunches. They are attempting to reinvigorate their local community and they have the tavern available for numerous uses. Large category, hire a housewife. Their respected reputation has seen this business grow as it has supported the community members through its core business, but also has been extremely active in the background, supporting those in need and who are finding life hard in our local community through the establishment of the Help Bags program. Non-profit category, Manchester House Social Services. This organisation is often working to capacity behind the scenes as it contributes massively to supporting individuals and whānau throughout our district. People are often amazed at the scope of work that is covered by the four service arms and the range of individual services that are offered within those arms. He tanata, he tanata, he tanata. Let us all celebrate these four finalists along with all those other worthy businesses who were nominated in this category. Namihi nui.
Thank you, Rex. Well done to those amazing recipients. Our community is stronger because of you. Next up, we have Sinead Gill, who will be presenting the Manawatu Champions category. Kia ora, I'm Sinead Gill and I'm the reporter for the Fielding Langitake Herald. It's my pleasure to be presenting the Manawatu Champions category because not only does that mean that these businesses are excellent in within themselves, but that they represent the district at a national level, sometimes international. So we've got the micro, small, large and non-profit categories. For the micro category, we have Power Rugby. So micro means there's only one or two employees for the business, but Power Rugby supplied the gear for the 2019 Rugby World Cup. So that's an outstanding achievement itself. And this year, they supplied the gear to the Rugby Sevens at the Olympics. So congratulations to them for their huge effort, which has probably gone under the radar. For the small to medium category, we have the rec room. So if you go to the rec room, you know that you're rubbing shoulders with the regional professional athletes anyway. But if you're not in weightlifting, you might not know that they actually host the North Island Weightlifting Championships. That brings easy 500 people to the district to fielding alone. That's awesome for business, but also it promotes us again at the national level. And some of those people went on to compete at the Olympics as well. Not sure if we can credit the rec room to those skills, but it probably helped. Um, and for the large category, we have Central Demolition. As a demolition company, they do make a lot of waste, but what makes them stand out is that they are possibly one of the first in New Zealand to decide we're going we're gonna to sort that out. So they've actually started their own Central Environment Initiative, and because of the efforts they've done just themselves, recycling their concrete. They've actually been awarded a grant from the government and next year they're going to be opening a large facility on Kawakawa Road, which is very exciting. So they're going to be processing 80,000 tonnes a year of waste. And that's not just for their business, but that's going to be businesses all across the district and really makes them stand out as a leader of waste minimisation around the country. The Manawatu Champions in the non-profit category is Manchester House Opportunity Shop. We all know the work that Manchester House does, and that can't be done without funding. So Manchester Opportunity House not only provides that, but it also provides a platform on Instagram. Their well-followed op shop diaries platforms their wares and also their achievements. So people who aren't in the district knows what's going on, and that's great. So I hope you all join me in congratulating the winners of this category and also all the people that were nominated. I hope there are more next year because you guys are all doing amazing work and as someone who's new to the region, it really makes me feel proud to be a um, Manawatuvian or a Fieldingite, I think it's called. But thank you all. Thank you, Sinead. What amazing achievements from those businesses. Up next, we have Vonice Walker presenting the Sustainability Improvers. Tina koutou katoa, he mahi nui tēnei ki a tātou katoa i tēnei hui huinga. Ko Ngāti Rangiwiwihi, me Ngāti Kaufata, me Ngāti Tūkorehe, nā iwi. He kai whakahaere pārongo, mā Pautama Trust Tokumahi. Uh, ko Vonis Walker tōku ingo. Hi everyone, my name is Vonis Walker from Potama Trust and I'm also on the board of FDP. Uh, Potama is a nationwide charitable trust that supports multi business development throughout Aotearoa. It gives me great pleasure to announce the winners of the Sustainability Improvers section for the Celebrating Business Awards. The criteria for this category is that businesses have made improvements to their environmental sustainability through their projects or practices and have moved the noodle on environmental progress, education, demonstrate kaitiakitanga, leadership and commitment to a sustainable future over the last 12 months. The total number of nominations received in this category was 10, 
across the four business sizes, micro, small to medium, large and non-profit. Micro. This business has done a fabulous job reducing the amount of single-use plastic by packaging their products in glass jars and cardboard tubes where possible. They also stock a range of zero-waste bathroom and household products. The winner of the Micro Sustainability Improvers Award is Totally Balm. Small to medium category. This business have a heart for sustainable farming. They continually invest in making sure their farming practices are looking after the land, people and animals. A great example of this is the planting of native trees on their farm in Stanway. The winner of the Small to Medium Sustainability Improvers Award is Georgian Allen Bartlett Farms. Large category. This business is an enviro school that embraces all things that are enviro friendly. Their co-papa is to create a healthy and sustainable world by leading and teaching our tamariki today for a better world tomorrow. The winner of the Large Sustainability Improvers Award is Gail's Childcare. Non-profit category. This business has invested massively into solar power to ensure its sustainability. This solar power system is one of the largest in the Manawatu and will provide enough power to cover their daily opening hours. The winner of the Non-Profit Sustainability Improvers Award is The Coach House. During the process of going through all of the nominations, the panel were blown away by the calibre of the practices. Fantastic achievements, guys. Thanks so much. Next up, we have Dean Williamson here to present Business Innovators. Hello, I'm Dean Williamson from Global HQ. We're a multimedia company based here in Fielding, um, dealing with farming publications and farming media and Agri-Data. It's my privilege to be um, introducing the winners of the Business Innovators section in the Celebrating Business Awards. In these unpredictable times, it's necessary for businesses to innovate. We've felt that too, and there's nothing more unpredictable than media in these times. So it's given me a great uh, lot of pleasure to uh, be having a look through the 24 entries in the three business sizes here. There's the um, micro, the SME and the large. And of those 24 entries, we had to choose one. So starting with the micro, the micro award went to a company combining uh, technology, science, sport and movement to get kids off the couches and active to improve their health and wellbeing. Can't think of a better purpose. So Matt and Max, they won funding to take this program with the support of schools right through into 2022. So a big congratulations for the micro category and the Celebrating Business Awards. The, bus the business innovator goes to Footsteps. We're now into the small to medium category here at the Celebrating Business Awards. This innovative business introduced a lot of staff benefits uh, since the pandemic. Um, to be able to look after their staff and for, that, um, for those benefits then to be able to radiate out to their customers. They've introduced things like nine day for uh, uh, fortnights, a profit share, um, open book management where the staff have great visibility into the books and the health and wellbeing of the business, um, a lot of work from home and they even had a three day retreat. They've taken on some apprentices, so to future-proof the business and to bring young, give young people uh, opportunities. And this team supports, they strengthen each other, and that culture is felt by the clients that visit them. So in the business innovators, small to medium category, the winner is 
Nest Architectural Design Limited. Right, we're up to the large business innovators here at the Celebrating Business Awards. We're extremely fortunate to have the winner of this category here in Fielding. They epitomise innovation in these difficult times. And they've increased uh, production fourfold and doubled staff numbers in doing so. I'm going to read it because it's pretty important. They've done it by producing something important to mitigating the COVID-19 pandemic. They supply the protein fraction BSA from New Zealand bovine blood that is necessary for the nasal swab testing tube viral transport media. And in doing so, they've supplied enough BSA for a billion test tubes globally. That's securing contracts around the world, including the USA. So the winner and the innovate in the innovator section of the Celebrating Business Awards, the large business is ProLiant. Thank you, Dean. Wow, there's some incredible innovation going on in our business community. Last up, we have the People's Choice Awards. All of the businesses that were nominated in the previous categories are eligible for these awards, where you, the public, got to vote. We had over 3,000 votes, which is incredible. And the winners are, in the micro business, the Flower Hut. Small to medium, the Rec Room. Large, Adore, Hair and Beauty, and in the non-profit section, Manchester House Social Services. Charge your glasses everyone, well done. Thank you to everybody that's been part of Celebrating Business 2021. We'd like to make special mention of a few people. I would personally like to thank the team at Fielding and District Promotion for all of your hard work. This has certainly been a challenge to pivot into our new event, but well done team. The work behind the scenes has been phenomenal. We'd like to make special mention of Stuff and the Fielding Rangatika Herald who have sponsored this event. I'd also like to thank the panel, Vonis, Rex, Dean and Sinead. Thank you so much for your contribution. And a special mention to the team of Image Group NZ for going above and beyond pivoting to bring us this amazing event. Thank you so much. Kia ora everyone, stay safe. Me karakia tato. Unuhia, unuhia, unuhia te uru tapanui atani. Kia wātea, kia māma, te nāko, te tīnana, te wairua, ki te arataka tū, koia rā i runga, whakairia ki runga, kia wātea, kia wātea, ai rā ko wātea. Draw on, draw on, draw on the supreme sacredness of tāni, to clear, to free, the heart, the body, to the path of peace. We acknowledge rungo, suspended high above us, be clear and at peace, we are at peace.